Scaling his way to success. This was a fun project which turned to what it is right now. I never really thought that I would have a massive audience, you know, uh, that my work would uh, be appreciated by so many people. He's making heads turn with exemplary art. I mean, this was not existing back in time. People used to struggle a lot just to have like a handful of people look at their work and see what they were doing. Newsx influencer A-List proudly recognizes Samar Khan for influence in Doodle Art. Hello and welcome. You're joining us on Newsx influencer A-List. With us today is yet another art influencer. Now, on Instagram, he is known as Metro Doodle, but... Uh, he is uh, Samar Khan and Samar is a software engineer by profession, but he does uh, doodles on the internet. Firstly, thank you so much, Samar, for being with us on NewsX Influencer A-List and uh, we're so glad to have you here. Thank you so much. It's a pleasure being here. All right, Samar, uh, you're a software engineer by profession, right? You've studied uh, to be one and you were just telling us about your journey. Um, what is it like, you know, to be a software engineer by profession, but take up a completely whole new different uh, uh, you know passion as your profession what is that like i mean it's it's a little unusual but it's great i'll tell you why because when i was a kid i was like i mean i, I i've been always into creating stuff and you know experimenting with uh, different types of medias coming up with different things that, that i love creating and but i never really wanted Never really took it seriously. I never really thought that I want to become a creator because artists back in time wasn't uh, that I won't say respected, but there were not uh, a lot of opportunity for artists as there as you know as such. And since I was also good at studies, I was uh, like I used to top in science and stuff. So I knew that I want to become an engineer or a scientist or something you know in a science profession. So, but eventually things uh, you know took a turn on me and. Uh, I, so this was a fun project which turned to what it is right now. I never really thought that I would have a massive audience, you know, uh, that my work would uh, be appreciated by so many people. So seeing that happen with time really want, you know, uh, had me take this seriously and, you know, just use this opportunity that I got to do something that I really enjoy. So, yeah, that's been the journey so far. So Zama, tell me something, you know, very interesting that you said that earlier on, you know, when we were, when we were children, um, artists did not have as much of a voice or as much of a space, right? Uh, do you think that digital media has kind of changed that? Because for you also, you know, you were just telling us that um, you drew a doodle, put it out there, and there was instant, you know, instant reactions that were coming in, people was reaching. Uh, do you think we have, our generation, you know, has a certain advantage? We definitely do this. I mean, this was not existing back in time. People used to struggle a lot to just to have like a handful of people look at their work and see what they were doing. Right now, it is so easy. You just have to use the social media to reach to as many people as you can. If you are good, you're definitely uh, going to get the audience. Here. You're definitely going to get the eyeballs and you're just going to, it's so much easier now. So ba uh, basically, there are so many opportunities right, right now for anyone who wants to become an artist or who's just passionate about it to just show what they're doing to the world. So what was, your journey, what was your journey like? Um, you started with putting out a doodle and it gained instant traction. And then where was it? Where did you take it from there? So honestly, I since I never saw it happening, I did not have any plans for it. So it was a surprise for me when this was happening. I remember when I got my first 100 followers, I was so excited. I was telling all my friends that, look, this is happening and everything. But... Eventually, that record broke, and I was I, uh, very soon. I hit the thousand uh, mark, and then within a couple of me, uh, months, I had like ten thousand followers on Instagram accounts. So I was like totally, uh, you know, I wasn't sure what was happening, and I never really because I also had another account of me which I was create using for you know posting a lot of different sort of artworks and photography that I used to do. So I never really saw that kind of traction happen, uh, you know, come to that particular account. But this was like booming crazily so uh yeah it was totally amazing and i really thought that i should use this opportunity and you got you, know, so you got the traction and then you instantly started so what was your first reaction that i should put out more content or was it that i need to improve on my existing content or you know was it that i need to somehow get more followers what was the instant first reaction that you had 
So honestly, I if I have to tell you, the first few artworks was not posted on Metro Doodle, it was on my personal account. Hmm. And it got featured by some like massive following, uh, pages with massive following. And I just went through the comments and saw people really appreciating what I was doing. Hmm. So that's what made me make more of such artworks because I knew that people are really enjoying what they're seeing, what they're seeing over there. Hmm. So I was like, maybe I should make more. And that's how Metro Doodle came into existence because I did not want to post because, you know, my uh, main Instagram account had random stuff. So I can, I was not really comfortable doing the same thing again and again. So I was like, maybe I should have a separate space for it. And I should uh, post, I should make a uh, separate handle and post everything over there and see where it goes. And yeah. it just uh, did amazing. So what was it like to become a media personality in a certain sense overnight? Because, uh, you know, it was one post which took you yeah. to, which, which, you know, spread the word around that there's Samar Khan who's, who's a great artist. Um, what was it like to, you know, get that, get that sort of traction overnight? Uh, it was obviously, it was great. But, you know, the thing was that uh, I was also an engineer and that was a serious job. And this side, like I was creating monsters and aliens for social media, which was a little different than uh, the, you know, person I was during the day. So when I uh, saw the traction coming, I never really re revealed my identity on social media because I never really wanted my uh, colleagues and my boss and you know people in my workspace to fi find out that I was making all these crazy creatures and you know uh, these weird uh, aliens around people. Yeah. So for like a few months, I just ran it anon anonymously. I never really revealed my identity. And it was, uh, it also brought a surprising, you know, a, a curiosity among the people that who is this person who is uh, traveling the metro creating monsters around random people and so that also really worked i think i think it worked in my favor because that also brought, brought in a little bit of hype to it okay and uh, you know before we let you go because we've run out of time i want to ask you one last question samay um how important is it to you know build your niche because you said that before you started doing metro doodles you were also you know putting out photography and artwork that you were doing uh, so how important do you think has creating a niche um, been important for you? you know how has that worked out for you I think it is extremely important because unless and until like, see, people will stumble upon your page and discover you on social media, but unless they know uh, that what they're, the piece of content that, that they really like from you, if they're going to see more of it, then obviously they're going to follow and they're going to stick around to your page. Like if you're putting out random stuff, no one can really know that what is the next thing, next thing that's going to come from you. So that's a really, really important thing. And having a niche is like the first step that every creator who wants to take it seriously has to do and find uh, for him or herself and then take it forward from there. All right. Awesome. Thank you so much, Samar, for being with us. And the more power to you. Keep doodling okay. and keep bringing smiles to our faces. Thank you so much. For more such videos, subscribe to the NewsX YouTube channel. Hit the bell icon.